So down here we have the debounce button. Basically, when a, when you press down the button, the metal contacts touch, but every now and then they bounce. So what this does, we use a five 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 timer chip and a one one mega ohm resistor or million ohm resistor, two capacitors, and a light and a push button and some more resistors. But basically what it does is it keeps it from pressing um keeps it from pressing more than once. So if I hold it down it stays. But since the timing on this is so fast, it's hard for me to press it fast enough so that you could see that if I press it twice, it doesn't respond. And I would be able to show you that if we had a capacitor that stored in, that had a high enough ferret to um to last that long. But basically this is where our clock circuit is right now and we're we're gonna work on a part that's that switches between the manual and the automatic, but we got the wrong type of switch. What it's supposed to do is a top it, we're supposed to have a toggle switch, which it's supposed to do is if you press it down, it stays there and you have to manually move it back. But this one just bounces back. And that's where our clock is right now. See you in the next episode.